Hey guys, this is Joanna Nen with the Prosperous Agency. Welcome back to episode four of buying a house in North Carolina. If you are new to the channel, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hit that like button and subscribe. I have been in the Greater Triangle area for 10 years and I'm happy to say that we've helped hundreds of families with their home buying needs. So let's dive straight in. How much house can you afford? We're sharing with you guys how the pricing in the Greater Triangle area has skyrocketed and the numbers just look bigger and bigger and bigger every month and so if you are looking at affordable housing it's very difficult we do get requests every single day and questions about housing under 350 or under 200 and it's like finding a unicorn it's very difficult most of those houses have multiple offers so it's really like a rat race unfortunately right so the same house that you guys would have been able to buy 10 years ago for about 200 right now you're going to pay 350 for it it's maybe around 1500 to 2000 square feet it's probably an older house and you might need to replace the hvac roof and all of that so um i'm not saying there's not there isn't any inventory in that two to three fifty price point there is and there is some new construction that is a little bit further out so you can still buy some homes in that very hot price point but there's not a lot available so how much house can you afford really depends on your personal situation i'm going to make this very easy i do have another video the link is going to be below and and it really goes in in depth in examples of buying a house that's you know 200,000 versus 400,000 now the interest rates have really dropped and that really is helping a lot of people unfortunately with covid things have shifted the economy is is really not doing fine and there's a lot of people who have lost their jobs so understanding whether or not you need to refi and how much house can you afford whether or not you're an investor or a first time home buyer or you know you, you're just thinking about uh, upgrading or downsizing is crucial to your future. Um, if you have a lot of debt, if your credit score is not where it should be, as in ideally above 620, you really need to look at everything um, in your life and consult with a CPA, consult with uh, a lender, consult with a real estate agent before, um, before actually proceeding to purchasing a house. So what we are seeing is that you can actually go on um, annualcreditreport.com and get a free credit report once a year, which is really helpful if you don't want a lender pulling your credit. Uh, even though the credit is, score is not going to drop tremendously, right? Maybe a few points, but you can still do it on your own. And then what you can do is really look at your income versus how many expenses do you have per month and just call a lender and say, I'm making 50 grand, 80 grand per year. I have a thousand dollars fixed expense uh, expenses. My credit score is about 680 or so. I'm a first time home buyer or whatever the situation is. Can you please tell me what I qualify for? Um, every situation is different, right? So interest rates have having been so low in the last month, months it is really a good thing for you as a home buyer right is that correct the way i said yeah i think it is so it's really good because your payments right now versus what they what the payment would have been last year uh, your payment is, is drastically lower um, if you are a, a, a homeowner and if you want to refi, refi i would strongly recommend that because if you have let's just say 3.7 3.8 interest rates and you can drop to 2.6 2.5 that's going to be let's just say you know 400 or so per month uh, less in monthly payment so generally speaking what you can afford depends on your personal individual case 
However, please look at interest rates, your credit score, your, your monthly debt, and how much money you make, and then just call a lender and determine if you actually qualify. Another point, and I'll be finishing with that, is that when you look at a house payment online, strongly recommended that you also add the, the insurance and the taxes in that payment. And also if the house has a homeowner association, please add that into your payment. A lot of people are making the mistake of actually just going online and just looking and saying, oh yeah, I can afford that, but they're not calculating. So just download an app, Mortgage Calculator, and just calculate the payment based on that individual properties, taxes, and HOA fees. Because if it's the house has $200 HOA fee versus $100, um, that can make a huge difference in your affordability, right? So um, also a very good point that I, I wrote here for you guys is how much will be costing to maintain that house, right? So you're not just looking at what what you are going to pay in closing costs, in down payment, uh, you know, how much you can afford right now, but what will you be affording to pay in the future? Because just because you buy it, it doesn't mean that you will be actually able to maintain it. For example, if you're buying a house with a pool that needs to be maintained, if you're buying a house with a bigger lot that needs to be maintained, if you're buying something that's older, that has an older HVAC system or water heater or roof or siding, plumbing, you know, if you're buying something with poly pipes, those need to be maintained. Now, I'm not saying that those homes are not worthy of being bought. I personally have and had homes that were newer, older. However, you have to keep in mind, you know, everything. So if it's going to cost you $8,000 to re replace an HVAC, please consult a real estate um, uh, broker because they will be able to direct you to a good home warranty that's six hundred dollars or so depending on the package that you buy per year and that could be a lifesaver in case you need to replace your HVAC system right obviously you're not just gonna get a home warranty today and tomorrow you're gonna have them um, you're gonna have them replace your HVAC however at least having that peace of mind is important checking your roof, maintaining your roof, maintaining your, uh, your um, as I said, your yard, maybe irrigation system, maybe your siding. There are termites here, so in other states you might not have that, but you want to make sure that you're looking at your termites, that you're looking at your cross space to make sure that there's no humidity and all of that. There's a lot to talk about and feel free to connect with me, schedule an appointment if you're ready to buy a house free consult and I can walk you through all of the steps and give you a spreadsheet of the important things that you need to look at when purchasing a house. If you like the video, smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see all of you on episode five and we will be talking about how do you actually buy the house in North Carolina, putting that deal together from contract to closing step by step. Take care, talk to you soon.